Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Steve, are you trying to fuck me? Do I take my clothes off? <laughs> you don't have to, Jed. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time on the podcast, Gianni. Gianni Pe- Paolo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Paolo. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Corona, Corona. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. Yeah, How are you? I'm so happy you came. I'm happy to be here. We're in a weird, we're living during a weird time right now. Um. I was very happy. I want to talk about ice hockey first. Okay. Cause, yeah, let's uh, do it. Because my intern, Ren, said, yeah, he played ice hockey. Uh-huh. I'm like, he did. Yeah. So tell me tell me where he started playing um, ice hockey. Yeah, so I grew up in Providence, Rhode Island. and oh, uh, Big I start- on the East Coast. Yeah, huge on the East huge. Coast. And I don't know why, but my dad threw me into it. I started playing when I was like two. And then that's, that's when Mike. I started skating. Yeah, mighty, really mighty, young, really mighty, young. Mighty, like pre-Mighty Mighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, so young. I I think I learned how to <laughs> skate before I knew how to yeah. walk. What kind of uh, skates you have? Uh, Cooper, uh, oh Bauer. Cooper w- was done by the time I started, so like Bauer, Bauer was the biggest. Bauer. I started off with Reebok. They had Reebok pumps. Whoa, 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 whoa! Reebok has an ice skate. They they used to be really big. I don't know if they are anymore because I'm not yeah, really in the hockey yeah. community okay, that much anymore. Yeah, yeah. But they, yeah, they used to be really big. So I had these white Reebok skates that um, Sheldon Surrey wore. Oh, and I loved them, and I was like, I need those. Yeah. And then, uh, like, once I started playing high level, I was like, I need the Bauer. Because Bauer's did, best. I, I remember because uh, when you're a Mighty Might, they don't necessarily, it didn't, they didn't check you. No, you uh, hitting started when we were like maybe eight or nine, so, so that's young. A- but now it's older. Now it's like you can't hit that young anymore because everyone's freaking out about. I remember the first time I was hit. Yeah, you do. You definitely. Yeah, it do. was like a, like a little bit after Mighty Might. It was what's the what's between Mighty Might and the next one? It's up? Might Squirt, um, Bantam. Midget. It was between Bantam and Squirt. Okay, okay, okay. It was okay. a little. I yeah. was a little bit of. Yeah, there's like Bantam Minor and Bantam Major. That's yeah. like one year and then the next. I just remember year. I had the puck and I was going on the right wing and this kid. Trapped me. He checked me, yeah. and I went. I felt the impact, like boom. Yeah. And he like went. Like, yeah, you always went. remember your first. Yeah, hit. and uh-huh. then I go, whoa. Yeah, it's, it's not great. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, I, my but fr- they don't. The coaches never. Because before, I, no, yeah, they didn't do. That. No, they're like you're. You're ready to get fucked up yeah, now. So you they remember your there. first hit? Yeah, my first hit was against uh, this team called the Bay State Sharks, and uh, it was like the first uh, season of hitting. And I got laid. It was during a game, right? Oh, yeah. I got laid the fuck out, and I got the wind knocked out of me. And I remember, like, like I was out, and I was like, here we go. you flipped in the air? I didn't flip in the – I mean, yeah, I got laid out. I didn't totally flip, but I flipped back, and then – when I hit the ice. Oh, you hit. Oh, my, my was head. it against the boards or just in the just middle? Open ice hit. Open oh, ice no. is the oh, worst. Oh, it's the worst. Mm-hmm. Mine was against the boards. Yeah. And yeah. I remember, like, I still remember, yep. like, that hurt. Mm-hmm. And what, this is different yeah. now. I know. It's crazy. And they put fear in me. But then I, it, me too. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Then, yeah. then you I, became, scale a little faster? I became the most aggressive kid on the ice. Yeah. So no one hit me. After that, no, everyone stayed away what, from me. What position were you? I was a defenseman, believe it or not. So I was, oh, yeah, a small defenseman. You're a, that's. Mm-hmm. Usually, would you be a right winger, left yeah. winger, forward? I know. If you're fast, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, no, but I didn't know uh, back then. My dad didn't really know if you're yeah, that yeah, if you're yeah. that young. Um, y- you don't know that it's all size later in the game. But by the time I was 12, I, I had already played at such a high level at defense. You're fast, too. exactly. So I was like, I'm gonna stay at this position. I-, I knew the ice really well. When you put me at forward, I had no fucking idea what right, I was doing. Right, right, yeah. right. So when did that become a factor? When you realized the kids were getting a little bit bigger, they're hitting more, their sh- the so flickers were more. Stronger. I I took a big jump when I was um 13. Yeah. So then my freshman year, I played junior hockey for 
for for five years. So you're Jeez. junior hockey. Usually, you start playing when you're like seven. You play 17, 18, 19 Usually, yeah, I started yeah. when I was fourteen. There was a twenty one year old kid on my team. I was fourteen years old. He had just gotten out of prison. Asian guy. His name was Brian Suey. He was Asian. He was Asian. He just got out of prison. So Asian. There's a lot of Asians that play hockey. I ha- I, I think I had. I was like the only one. Yeah, I think I there's not not many. I think there's there was maybe one in the NHL. Um, what was his name? His name was um fuck. He played at BU. What's his name? Uh, oh, Brandon Yip. Shout out to Brandon Yip. Brandon Yip. Shout out Brandon. <laughs> Yip. That's like a unicorn. Yeah, but he so he was sick at uh, well, at BU. Uh, he was a forward, I believe. What's and then, BU? Boston University. Oh, Boston. Yeah, Boston. one of the one of the oh. best college hockey teams. Chinese, Korean. I think he might be Korean. I Shout out to him again. I think he might be Korean, All but right. I could be wrong. Yeah. I'm not racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was I he, don't was know. He, is he st- was he st- fast? Oh, big dude, big fucking dude. And then he he became a fighter. He wasn't like playing a lot, so he yeah. became a fighter. Played for a couple teams, That's and now crazy. he's um he actually plays for the fr- so there's the other league is the KHL, which is in Russia. It's basically Ooh. the NHL of Russia. It's literally the I've next. I've seen league that down. documentary of the '80s Olympic team, uh, yes. Miracle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a really so a lot big of those story. guys play over there. They're, in, that's in a Russia. sick fucking that's league. A, yeah. Um, but he now there's now a team from uh, in South Korea, a South Korean hockey team, and he's the captain of that team. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, it's crazy. That's what's up. Yeah. Did you talk about hockey on Tiger Belly? Uh, a little bit. Bob mentioned um, Bob mentioned that you grew up in a in a diner, but we didn't really get much into it. But he brought up the same guy that you brought up, who, uh, Dino Cicerelli. Yeah, Dino Cicerelli. Yeah, That's yeah. the one guy that yeah. we only remember because yeah. we had his card and yeah. Well, a he was he was big. He was a uh, uh, back then. It was the Minnesota North Stars. Yep, North Stars. Do you yep. remember the North Stars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were green, yellow, mm-hmm. and white. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever go to a game or? No, I just remember. Well, a diner. Now that in hindsight, when people tell me, because we're, I was pre, like I was like pre elementary school. Yeah. Uh, and they're saying it's a rich, like the CEO of Target, like it's like a bougie. Oh really? Place. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that. but back then we didn't know. We knew yeah. it was a nice neighborhood. Yeah. But I remembered right down the street there was. Uh, ice rink and yeah, and I remember during the winter time, you know, the 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 driveways uh, would freeze yep. and we'd slide down yeah, on yeah, our yeah, butts. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. I remember the snack bar there, and I just remember that's when I started chewing tobacco uh-huh. for the first time. I started when I was playing hockey too, when I was fourteen. What is it about ice hockey and chew? Like I, I, I was peer I only pressured. Did, I hated it. I hated it. I only yeah. I only liked it because the older guys were doing it, and everyone on the team was nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. No, there, I was a kid. Yeah, I know. So I was a kid. That's I why was... I started doing it. You were that small? I, I was a Chewing kid. tobacco? Yeah, no. That was in the, you know, because in the um, snack bar, you know, where you put your skates on, yeah. uh, they sold like tangy taffy and yeah. snacks. And the guy that worked there, I remember he would always, uh, it was Copenhagen. Uh-huh. And he's like, hey, kid, try it out. Really? And then I remember. How old were you? I was a kid. I was like. First grade, second grade, like very young. And did you get sick or all? I got. Or? I remember. I like had it in, and I was like, I was like, because because I, I do Velo now. Yeah, yeah, it's the pouches, right? Yeah, it's yeah, the pouches. Yeah. But I remember, I was like, I just remember the taste, and I was got dizzy. Damn. But yeah. But like, get this. So later in life, obviously, I didn't fuck. I didn't start doing it then. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I remember, like, I'm done with that. Yeah, but yeah. when I started wrestling, uh-huh. it's big in the wrestling. Community. Oh, is it too? Yeah, before the you know. Cutting yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, I I know a lot of guys that did it during warm ups. That was like a big thing. Like, don't wear your helmet during warm ups. Chew tobacco. Chew. Spit on the ice. So it's it was big. like a, it was like a cool thing, but not during the game. You get hit with a fucking tobacco in your in your mouth. You get hit. It'll go down your throat, and you're throwing up for the next three right, hours. Right, right. So, so it's th- big in the hockey community. Yeah, huge, huge, huge. massive. It's like same thing with uh, you because know, baseball you, players. Yeah, because you have uh, you play junior hockey. You have uh, eight to twelve hour bus rides. So, get it put in a dipper, exactly, get a little right. Dixie cup, and mm-hmm. boom! Mm-hmm. All right, like this is interesting. I, uh, um, I want to talk more about your just your progression. Like, yeah. So you're from the East Coast. Mm-hmm. When did you start getting into like the acting? Because he mentioned, yeah, I want to get to the movie. Yeah, of in. course, of course. You're you're in a you're the major role. Uh-huh principal actor in the movie mom correct yeah and i remember seeing that trailer still haven't seen it i, yeah. I promise i'll see it this week of course not but <laughs> no I pressure remember, but I you better fucking see but, it but you've I, been doing nothing for a month but i remember <laughs> seeing that trailer thinking this looks like a crazy yeah. ass movie oh it was crazy so that yeah. I'm, i know i'm jumping ahead but so when did you uh make your uh move out here and so basically I, I was playing hockey i was mm-hmm. playing junior hockey and um i had you know 
colleges that were looking at me, Ivy League schools. Yeah. And I just didn't see myself making a career in the yeah. NHL. I had a bunch of concussions. Mm -hmm. My shoulder, I separated it. And I was like, do I really fucking want to be doing this for the rest of my life? And I, I started doing theater and improv and stuff like that my first year out playing junior hockey after I'd already graduated high school. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now the colleges, they want you to be tw uh, 21-year-old freshmen. Mm -hmm. So they want you to do three years of junior hockey uh, after high school mm -hmm. so you can be in big as strong as possible and by the time you're graduating you're 24 and i always knew i wanted to do acting mm -hmm. and i was like do i really want to go to these colleges and i i still right now i'm already a lead of a tv series and uh a lead of a movie that's been in theaters and i produce like a pretty popular podcast i, the, I do the that stuff. The the do i wouldn't yeah. have started acting uh, and gotten out to uh, get out to la until next year I, I would be still playing college hockey right now that's crazy. So I, I was like, fuck, I, I have to make the move because I'm going to lose all my younger roles. Like, I'm yeah, going to lose yeah, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So I moved out on my 19th birthday. Me and my older brother, we uh, we drove cross country. We stopped in Vegas. You drove? Mm -hmm. We stopped in Vegas. We didn't make one stop until Vegas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, took us like, I don't know, two and a half days to, just to get to Vegas. And then, yeah, we, we, I got out here. I found an agent within the first month. How would you do that so fast? I went on this thing called LA Casting. I made a profile. Oh, yeah, LACasting.com, yeah. yeah. And you some, put your headshot up yep. there? Yeah, and yeah, some yeah, guy yeah. just reached out to me, another Asian guy. Fucking, they're killing it for yeah, me. Yeah. So and, you're uh, good. The Asians are good with good you. For, good with me. <laughs> Asian and black women love me. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why. Well, I don't know why. In your DNA. Yeah, I'm yeah. racist. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, know why yeah. I'm racist. Well, no. you're Italian, right? Yeah, Italian, Italian yeah. Piallo, right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe it's the Italians and the Asians get along. Yeah. For some, I yeah. don't know what that is. A, a lot of and Italian. I, yeah, there you go. You're Italian, yeah. yeah. And yeah, and yeah. my um, I'm Sicilian as well. There you go. So a, a, a lot of the um, black kids on my show are like, yeah, Sicilians and and you know black people they get along. And I never heard that before, and I was like, cool. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. We have, I didn't tell you, we, we need to do this quick ad read. Of and course. And then we're going to get right back. Of course. Man, can you, uh, um, so the, we have a, our sponsor for this episode is, um, what's it called, Ren? Blue Beat, Blue Beat Digital. Are you having problems finding a trusted source for personal protective equipment like face masks, gloves, and hand sanitizers? It should not be like this. It shouldn't be this difficult to acquire protective gear to ensure your safety. Blue Beat Digital's online store at bluebeatsales.com carries an assortment of FDA-approved masks, gloves, and other healthcare products at affordable prices. Blue Beat Digital is committed to doing its part in flattening the curve and providing supplies to civilians and first responders. As a trusted source for PB PPE, we ship the same way, so the same day your order is placed and ensure your, our protective products are certified and manufactured at authorized facilities. When you purchase from Blue Beat Digital, you will be supporting the COVID-19 relief effort as 2.5% of all purchases from BlueBeatSales.com goes directly to hospitals and first responders. They are also sending weekly mass donations to hospitals. Blue Beat Digital is also supporting the economic crisis we are experiencing by putting money in your pocket with the Blue Beat affiliate program, we are offering five percent a five percent discount to customers, and an additional five percent goes towards the affiliate. That means you can earn five percent for every purchase placed on BlueBeatSales.com. Simply sign on as an affiliate on our website, share your coupon code or link, and receive payments every two weeks direct through PayPal or other online cash services. We believe by getting everyone involved through a grassroots effort, we can res resolve the health and economic crisis. We can no longer rely on the leaders in our country to solve our issues. We need to join together and support each other to work th out this crisis. Please visit us at bluebeatsales.com. That's B-L-U-E-B-E-A-T-S-A-L-E-S dot -E 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 com today. 
They Sorry, packed yeah. it in. They packed they it packed in. This it is in. a goddamn. I was sweating. I'm like, is this an essay? Do you do commercial no, auditions? No, no, that I was to, flawless. Like, I did a star, Starburst. Did you? A commercial yeah, or you went for I'm an audition? Got, yeah, no, no. I, I booked it. Really? Yeah, I, what, I booked did Bob set you up with? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Bob back in early 2000. Yeah, I was with Aqua. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did uh, I, Top Bob, Up. Bob mentions Aqua on every podcast. Oh, He's I know. like, I, I'm with this guy from Aqua. Another Asian guy, yeah, Lawrence yeah. Har. Shout out to Lawrence Har. Yeah. So I did I did a few. Nice. Yeah. Made you some don't do it money. anymore? Uh, I'll, I've told this story before. Oh, I had a heart wrenching. Um, uh-huh. I, I, bu- I, I was this close to a uh, Verizon uh, campaign. Ah, uh, that's money. Like a four or five that's commercial money. deal. Another Asian kid Fuck. beat me out, but on location. Damn. Where they told me I was in the same room as this kid. I'll say his name's Jimmy. And every time Jimmy, Jim, every time Jimmy <laughs> said something, the, the producers, <laughs> Jimmy, oh, yeah. great job. Yeah. Uh, Steven, you could go out in the hallway. Oh, fuck. And yeah, that's so tough. I remember. Was I it was Jimmy O. Yang? No, it was, I don't know. He, he was good. You know, yeah. he was doing his thing. Yeah. But I remember me being confused in the hallway because a Part of my brain was like, you still have a chance, yeah. buddy. But yeah. I did it. Yeah. And, but that was the was, last one you ever went on. Oh yeah. And then I remember seeing it. They sh- they they aired the shit out of uh, it. Fuck, they yeah. that kid must have made. Well, Blue Beat Digital. <laughs> yeah. So go, let's go back to Blue Beat Digital. Get your mask. Fuck and your, Verizon. Your uh, COVID supplies today. Let's go back to your trajectory. Yeah. So you quit hockey. Mm-hmm. You had a prosperous future in hockey, and yeah. I could tell. Yeah. And you're like. There was a moment you're like, I got there. There was a window. I got to do it now. Mm-hmm. And tell me about the road trip. You stopped by Vegas and then. Yeah, sorry, we for stopped cut. by Vegas. We yeah. got here. Uh, we Airbnb to a place for three weeks. Okay, where at? Uh, in in Hollywood. It okay. Was like right, right near uh, where the W is, like right around that gotcha, area. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a great place. Me and my older brother were sharing a couch. It mm-hmm. was rough. Uh, so. We stayed there for maybe three months, and my older brother moved back to uh, Rhode Island. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He wanted to finish college. Yeah. So I was out here alone. I was nineteen for probably about alone at yeah, nineteen for like nine, ten months. And and that place, uh, it expired. Like the guy was coming back because it was a sublease, and I was literally walking around L.A. with my hockey bag filled with clothes, and in my hockey bag was was with me and my sticks, and just walking around L.A. I had nowhere to stay that night. Whoa, yeah. you're homeless for. Yep. And then so but one of my friends, this guy Locke, he called me. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I am moving out of my apartment like I have I have nowhere to go. to go. And he's like, come stay at my place. So I stayed at his place for a week. Oh, thank God for him. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Shout out to Locke. He, oh, my God. Yeah. He has helped me so much. Like it, it's that sounds like a explain. good that sounds like a good friend. Good friend. He's yeah. my writing partner now. Actually, oh, good, we're, good, we're trying good. to sell some shows right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. And that was basically it. So then I took. Uh, a couple acting classes. I went to James Franco's studio uh, in oh, the he, Valley. He has his own acting school? Yeah, so he had his own acting school, and then uh, he didn't teach that class, but then there was a master class, and there was like 10,000 kids that auditioned, and Jeez. they picked 50 actors, and I was one of the actors that they picked, and I was like, oh, this is, this is fucking great. So uh, I got, What was the criteria to get picked? You just auditioned. They literally gave you a monologue, wow. and you auditioned. Yeah. And um, a lot of people say I look like Dave Franco, so maybe that was the maybe that's what they yeah yeah yeah, was, yeah. His, maybe, like he looks my yeah. brother <laughs> yeah. Did you meet James Franco? Oh yeah, he was my teacher for for like well, I'm a fan four of months. his. Oh, I love him. He's great. Well, what's he like in like off camera? He's hilarious. He's funny. He's very normal. I mean, he he makes it seem like he's a really weird artist. Like you know what I mean? He does a lot of weird yeah. things, but he's really not. He's very normal. He's funny. He just—he just seemed very. It, it was like, have you seen This Is the End? No. He's he who he plays in that character was kind of like who he is in real life. So he's really down to earth and easy. Just yeah. he's just a normal dude. Yeah. Okay. I wound up leaving the class just because it wound up being a filmmaking class and not an acting class, and oh, I wanted to learn, learn how to, to act. act. Okay. And we were doing a table read for like three weeks. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing here? Damn. So I wound up leaving. So what happened after that? I joined another acting class. I cleaned the toilets. I I. Uh, uh, to pay for it, I I uh, watered the teacher's plants. Oh, I did all this crazy wow. shit to be able to pay for the classes. I was working at a gay bar in West Hollywood. I was trying did to. Did you make... get, did you get hit on? Oh my god, did I get? Let's hit talk on every... about it. Let's oh, talk yeah. about it. So I would go up to a table. <laughs> what? Okay. I would go up to a table. And... Was it like Club Rage? No. So uh, do you know where Hamburger Mary's is? It must be off li- Santa Monica. It must yeah. be off. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. where it's somewhere. In... 
Yeah, so Santa, in Boy Ma- Town. Santa Monica and fuck, I don't know the cross street, but yeah. there was a place across the street. It was called Beach Nation. Yeah. And it w- it had a sand pit in the middle of the restaurant, like you're at a beach. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very gay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Nothing yeah. wrong with being gay, but very yeah. gay. You yeah. Know what okay. I mean? So uh, I would walk around in a tank top. And you were in a tank top. Oh, I was in a tank top. I was fucking shaking my Ooh, ass. I was getting those tips. Eye candy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I would go up to a table. Would, and would you feel their looks? Oh my god, yeah. Inside you of could, me, I felt them inside of me. That's inside your butt. These guys were looking into my asshole. <laughs> yeah, into my asshole. Okay, I felt it. So you, there's a certain feeling you get, like yeah. a predatorial. I kind of liked it, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna Wait. fucking come in here and lie. So there's, did they physically? No, brush I don't up think against you a couple times um, during Gay Pride because there was so many people in the restaurant you couldn't move, so a lot, you get a lot of like groping. Yeah, um, but no, everyone was kind of kind of cool. I mean, so gay guys you, are crazy. Yeah. So what's your typical pickup line for like why? Honestly, yeah. What would they say? Three or like, four times, I literally had guys tell me they were gonna spit roast me, and I didn't know what the fuck that was. But by like the third or fourth time, I was like, I need to look this up, and I looked it up, and it wasn't pretty. So describe what does spit roasting mean? So basically, there was there's always because that's a rotisserie. Yeah, it's a rotisserie situation. Term, and then they spit on you as you as your dick so is as, as their dicks are in you. So you're rotating mm-hmm. around. Yeah. Their penis is in your butt and in my mouth. Oh, so, so one in each. So it's like so the you're a you're yeah. a pig. Correct. You have I'm a, a dirty penis little pig. in your mouth. Yeah, a penis in your butt. Correct. And they're rotating me ro- as they spit on me. Yeah. Wow, that, and that was like th- that was like three or four <laughs> times. <face> yeah, <laughs> he's like, Classic. yeah, no, they're crazy. <laughs> His friend's face yeah. off camera was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Um, I'm just letting you know, Johnny. That's one of my fears. Getting spit roasted no, or spit well, roasting? That obviously, yeah, 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 yeah. since you told me what that is, yeah. is just being butt raped. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Have you had dreams about that? No. We're, okay. <laughs> Okay. No, I, okay. honestly, I was more worried about the food getting out because yeah. um, I needed to make money. Can but I tell you a horrific story? My girlfriend's friend's gay. Uh-huh. He was in West Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Asian guy. Another Asian yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say his name. Mm-hmm. Jimmy was, O. Yang. No, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> Jimmy. It was not Jimmy. <laughs> he was roofy. He was drugged. So this dude was drugged. He... And he didn't know where he was. My my girl had to like get, oh. we, they had to rescue rescue him. They took his wallet. Thank God, some people um at the club uh got his phone and, yeah. s- you know what I'm saying yeah. and gay guys, helped. Gay guys he are was aggressive. Drugged. They can be aggressive. I, I remember on Gay Pride, I would come home because I lived in in West Hollywood, yeah, right off Santa Monica. And there would be people just blowing each other like everywhere. It, it was like Wait, um, in public? when you played Manhunt. Oh yeah. Have you ever been in West Hollywood during Gay Pride? No, I it's went. Insane. I went. I like the pizza place, Fresh Brothers. There's a <laughs> there's yeah, a Fresh yeah, yeah. Brothers yeah, there. Yeah, I've been there. There's a Starbucks I went to. I okay. used to go to there. Nice, but, but you don't no. go in that area much. No, <laughs> no, I don't. Ha- I don't hang out in like boy. T- I it's like called, it. It's very clean. That's my favorite part. It's of, clean. Yeah, it's yeah clean. and but, I'm also gay. Is why. I but, but but I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm sure th- that's okay if you were. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. sure. That there's a whole different microcosm of it's a whole different world. Yeah, it is. It really is. But I mean, it's great. It's a it's a wonderful place to be. It's just gay guys can be aggressive. Yeah. Uh, if you think like construction workers catcalling women are aggressive, work in Boys Town because it's yeah. fucking. Tell me the times most worse. aggressive a, a person got with you. Um, I, I there were, has I've never had anything happen like that because I'm mm. a very aggressive person yeah. and I'll and fight you, back. And you, and you're, yeah, you, I could tell. Yeah. I mean, you played hockey. Yeah. yeah, I'll definitely fight back. Yeah. So if it ever got to that, I fucking cut it down quick. You know what I mean? It, it never really because they're they're aggressive, but they're I feel like a lot of them are pacifists. They don't want to fight. So so what do you do, what would you say to like totally cut that? Like, oh, I played along with it because I wanted the tips. So you'd be like, oh, oh you, you, wanna, yeah. you have to do it to yeah, get the I can't, money. Yeah, I can't say like. So do they ask oh, what time do you get out? Yeah, and I would fuck them for extra. No, um, <laughs> yeah, they would they would ask that. And so what do you do? You come here a lot. You how long have you been working here? Um, I just I've been working here for a couple months. I just moved uh, here from Rhode Island. Um, do you want to hang out after you get off work? Uh, yeah, what, what, yeah, um. I mean, I oh. have to ask my boss, but uh, oh, I, I, yeah. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. So yeah. you play along. Yeah, until, I, until they tip so me. So they get the boner. Yeah. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I get this yeah. young piece of meat. Uh-huh, yeah. Basically, and when do you, when do you like, dupe them? 
Um, uh, so once I, you know, I, I, what if a table's being like that, I would like go to other tables and not show them any attention. I would like kind of. Oh, you have yeah, the whole yeah. body leg. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would play it like that. So and you. The, and then I'd come back around. You work them. Oh, yeah. I work them. You mm -hmm. work the table. Yeah. 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 Would you stick your butt out? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit. You'd stick your butt out? I'm not going to lie. In that um, yeah. year span where I worked in West Hollywood, I did a lot of squats. Yeah. So you got your you got the bubble butt going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And the the men love that. Yeah, I'm getting really excited about this. I don't know how I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the it was the best that. time of my life. Yeah. <laughs> now did you do did you so you flirted with them? Oh yeah, of course. So you would touch their Yeah. So I, I, I yeah, wouldn't ever touch them, but yeah. I would I would go up and I'd I'd do like a <laughs> <laughs> I do like one of those. You know what I mean? You do like a little Oh yeah. man, yeah. you got that down. I had to. I, I was. I was in. I, my car got repossessed. Yeah. All these things oh, were happening to me. So, I was like, I need so the money. So what's the money. most tip you made by by working? Five hundred dollars. Someone give me five hundred dollars on a sixty dollar tip. Mm -hmm. Five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was like the most biggest table? Like, was there like because there's so four the, top. The fucked up thing of this top. restaurant was the the grill was this big, so it took food like two three hours to come out so it was a nightmare working there to be honest yeah um but i would have on sundays uh the whole restaurant would be full and i wound up becoming such a good server i had no idea what i was doing yeah. i never served in my life i lied on my you thing just kinda... and i wasn't even 21 i you have to be 21 to serve you, alcohol you just i lied and said i was 21 oh. and um it was uh, like there would be 30, 40 people in the restaurant, bottomless mimosas and it would just be me on and i'd fucking just how did you get all those mimosas out on time I would you just, they would just keep it and just made and You're I made a hustler. it. I know, I made You're, that money. Yeah, that's crazy. I wanted like because you hustled real quick. Yeah. Once you got, you didn't waste any time. Nope. Because your typical LA story mm -hmm. is like this. Yeah. yeah. Person moves out here, they work this job, work that job. Five years goes by, still don't have an agent. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. tough, and yeah. I'm sure more than what's I'm sure seventy percent of stories are like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You ever think about like those apartments, like where a person grows old in that apartment? Oh, every day of my life. And they, you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. there used to be this Hollywood actor. Yeah, and they're they there. still are they holding make on it. to yeah. the dream. Well, because there's a lot of people. I mean, I don't. I haven't taken a class, an acting class, in maybe over mm -hmm. I mean, a year and a half, two years. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people in my classes were like that. Just people that just, holding just on. they want it so bad, and they're like yeah. seventy, and it's like, it's good because they have something to do. But it's like I just. Don't you want something more? Like I don't know. I, yeah. I get like that sometimes. Do you or, think that the the internet helps acting in any t type of content and art? It of course it, it helps. Because back then you yeah. had to go on the Tonight Show. Uh huh. Jimmy of course Fallon, it helps, but Jimmy I also Kimmel. think it hurts a lot because. So tell me the pros and cons of the pros your of the internet that. is that you can email agents. You can directly. Do, do, yeah, casting is all. Oh, online. even headshots are. You're real. Exactly. You could film it. Yourself. You don't even. Yeah. You don't. All that stuff is mm -hmm, amazing. Mm -hmm. But the con part of it is social media, where people think acting um, is like people that they just want to be famous. So they just want to become famous through uh, TikTok and Vine. Oh, and they want to be viral. Exactly. They don't want to be actors. Oh, they don't want to put in the work. Exactly. Because acting is like it's a, a muscle. Lot of work. It's just like a lot you know, a person who wants to be a singer or a musician, mm -hmm. you have to put in the hours yeah. of work. So a lot of people are just vlogging and doing this stuff. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Right, I, right, I watch right. them. I love them. Yeah, yeah. But uh, a, a lot of people have the wrong aspirations because they get famous at that, and then they're like, oh, I can be an actor now. You know no. what I mean? Exactly. That's different than doing a vlog or... Well, well, that's what I'm saying. It's like... Twitching or something. Of course. You can, you can do all that stuff. That stuff is great. Yeah. But it's the people that are like, oh, now I'm famous at this. I should be in big movies. Oh, because they get gassed. Exactly. They, they, their head, yeah. they, their ego there, takes there, over. Like, yeah, there's yeah. like this weird thing that happens where people think acting is fame, and it's not. It's actually just... It, it's a, no, like anything work. else. It's, it's a like job. Same. It's a exactly. job. Exactly, yeah. I mean, you look... You know, a good example is... Extras, mm -hmm. you know, they have to get up at five in the morning. Mm -hmm. They got to sign in. They got, you know, it's a job. It's I, not. I would, I would feel so bad on on the show that I have coming out this summer. Yeah, well, um, let's let, let's get into that. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I want to talk about Ma and then the stuff you're cool. working on. Yeah, but yeah. continue. Yeah, but yeah. So the show that I'm uh, that I was working on, we film it in New York City. Um, sometimes. For, What's the name of it? It's called. So there's an original show called Power. Okay. It's on Stars. Okay. And I was in season five and six of that. Damn. 
So my character um, is in the spinoff. I'm one of the leads of the spinoff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, don't, I really can't say much more than that, but my character is one of the leads mm-hmm, of the spinoff. Mm-hmm. But basically we film five, six in the morning, snowing out in New York City. Damn. And there's extras that are out in the street in negative degree we- weather, just being an extra walking down the street. And those, like, I really, every time we wrap a scene or anything, I go up to every single person. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank that's you. Good, thank be, that's because conduct, because man. we couldn't do that without them there yeah, anyways. No, no. What they do is important And as well. a lot of yeah. times the ADs and, and other people, they treat them like, like crap, shit. Like yeah, crap. they're like, oh, yeah. they get and I'm like, they're they're helping us. How much? I'm just curious. How much do extras make? Uh, I used to do it. I I, I right, did right, right, I did right, extra right. work when I, uh, when I was in Rhode Island. There was two movies that filmed in Rhode Island, and um, you make probably about 150 dollars a day. Damn. Yeah, it's not great money, but you get fed. So. Yeah. Thank yeah. God for that. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk more about your the the show mm-hmm. and um. So before that, uh, you were in this major motion picture, a psychological thriller. Uh, yeah, correct. Called Ma. Yeah. So before Ma, I did like three or four guest stars on TV shows, mm-hmm. a couple recurrings, um, like ABC Family, stuff like that. Yeah, but that was your major break, Ma. Yeah, Ma was my major break. But I, so I booked a co-star on this show, Power. It was okay. one episode, two se- two scenes, mm-hmm. and then um, so I filmed that, and then I went right right on and did Ma. So how did you one get the auditioning? To the opportunity yeah. and what was that process like uh, for Ma specifically? Yeah, for Ma, because so, I'm sure there's more than one round of callbacks. Yeah, oh yeah, I, yeah, let's I talk about that. I, so I went for the first audition. Uh, it was this. Was, uh, was it nerve wracking? Not for. I, I don't really. I get nervous in auditions, but yeah. but at that point, I was so confident in my work that I I just I was like, fuck it. I'm How did care. you prep for it? Like the dialogue. I, I I always just read it over. I oh, read it with no. someone else, and I just yeah, yeah, I have yeah. to be off book for auditions, or else I super prepared. Yeah, I have to be. It's just okay. the way I am. So let's talk about that first audition. Yeah, so I went in, and it's a casting director that I've been in for a couple of times. So he, they're they're aware, knowledgeable about. They're yeah, they aware of you. Yeah, yeah. And, and I went in for the show called Thirteen Reasons Why. On, mm-hmm. um, I was on Netflix, and I got you know pretty far in it. So the casting director knew who I was, and then I came in again. He's super nice, and um, I I did it one time. And he's like, okay, let's let's do it another time, and that's always a good sign. Yeah, they like yeah, it. to do it a different way. Yeah, he's like, just do whatever you want. So how many like, people were in there the first time? Just one guy. I think with, I only saw a like a guy? couple other guys. Oh, 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 oh. first audition, the yeah, audition just room. Just Carrie and um and the camera and, guy. Yeah, the, no, he was even doing the camera. He was doing both. Yeah, he was just doing both. Oh, that's yeah. better. That's better. Yeah. yeah so yeah. um, he was reading with me, whatever. So then I left, and um. I came back. I got a call back a couple days later, and I was like, nice. So, um, and then I read, I forgot who I, oh, I read with um, a couple other people. I think it was another casting director and someone else. And then I, it, it went great. And then he called me back for a third Ooh. call back with the director. All the producers were sitting there. Oh, God. And now, was what's e- the difference? I mean, that alone's the difference, right? It, honestly? Because you, you oh, could, yeah. psych- of course. You could drop the baton. Yeah, but the good part about Kerry's office is, it's it it's a living room. It's so strange. Like th- where you where you read is upstairs. Like in this in like a casting office. Mm-hmm. You've been in one. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the, where they did the callbacks was in this place that literally was a living room. It looked like someone's house. Oh, so it's so more it like was, a home type, more homely chill. feel. Yeah. yeah, chill. It felt way better. And then so I read it and I had in the movie I get naked. There's a scene where yeah he mentioned that yeah where she pulls a gun on me and I get completely naked. So that was one of my audition scenes. You and I went for it. I went for it. I went all the way down to my underwear and I was like standing there and they fucking loved it because I went yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You committed to that. Yeah. So that was that, a good choice. Yeah. Was I, that I just... had to. W- did you do that on the fly? Um, or did you plan on doing that? I planned on doing it because I, I did it for the second one. I didn't do it for the original read, but I did it for the second one. I was like, okay, I'm going to go to my underwear because there's other Because I'm sure a lot of actors probably like, didn't. are yeah. like, um... The only thing I was nervous about was that I have a tattoo on my chest, like a small tattoo here. Yeah. And at that point, I was like, if I take my shirt off and I have a tattoo, well, I just was weird. Well, that's where hair and makeup come in. They, yeah, you know, exactly. But in Johnny my, Depp's tatted yeah, sleeve. In up, my head, man. I was like, well, that could skew them. You know, as oh, an actor, you, got in your head. you think everything is going to fuck you're it up. Everything. Yeah, you're like, oh, I sneezed yeah. on the way to the audition. Right. I'm fucked. Yeah. yeah. My hair went. Yeah. yeah. So, but you, during that scene, you just committed. Yeah, I went for naked. it. Yeah. So then this is the. Were you wearing a boxers or tidy whities me undies, I think. <laughs> I, think I, was wearing me, I think I was wearing me undies. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. They loved it regardless. <laughs> yeah. They're like, so, this kid so does not give a fuck. We like him. Yeah. They, and it's a good sign. Did they laugh? 
Oh yeah, they laughed. That's yeah. a good sign. And I always add. I always add every. Oh, you, stuff you in. improvise every time. Every single audition I go to because they're hearing the same shit all day long. I did casting for a little bit and so, I got bored. Uh, all all the time, the kids that came so in you and improvise mm-hmm, all the time. Okay, so that, that was the third one. You, I, Unless I'm going in for fucking you, Spielberg, you, you I'm going it, for it. You hit it out the ballpark. Yeah. So then they call me back for a fourth one, fourth one. and I had a, uh, a chemistry aid with Oscar winner Octavia Spencer. <laughs> I was oh, like, oh, wow. fuck. Yeah. It was, no, no, hold up. Let's back up. On your fourth, third, and fourth, are other kids that make that round there waiting to? I saw, um, I didn't see anyone for the third one, so I was like, oh, fuck. I think I got this. Clean slate. And then I went in for the fourth one, and it was me and one other kid, who so I'm actually really good friends with now. But so you, in your mind, when you saw this other kid, yeah. so your fourth audition, oh, I was like, I, I fucking you're got thinking, this. it's me and this kid. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And you had, con- why did you have, how did you get this confidence? I don't know. I, but I, you knew it? I, yeah, I just felt it. The character felt really right for me. I just, I knew I had it. It was so strange. Were you, were you psyching this kid out? Um, I just do stuff like I play it cool. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? Like, oh, I play it real cool. But there cool. is some psychology. Of course, of in course. The waiting room. Of course. Yeah. Like, what do you? What he do you... was outside and I was inside, and I just remember walking in, like, what's up, bro? Like, you, I just played it cool. You played because it, a lot of confident. times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he went in for his audition. I'm pacing around. I'm like, oh, God, fuck. Because yeah. you could go one of two ways. You could downplay it, mm-hmm. or you could do what you did. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. Like you're acting. You know, you're yeah. just being cool. Yeah. Okay. I, I never, yeah, I'm never like a dick to any other actors. Okay. Like, there's no reason to be, but. But so he was in first. Yeah, he went in first. So yeah. were you, were you, were you like listening by the door? No, 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 because you have to go around the front, like, because it's like a, okay. a little house. So were you observing his demeanor walking out? Um, did you look at I, him? I didn't. I was in the room. I just didn't look at him. He left, and I was like, yeah. So you're like, F- fuck it, mm-hmm. I'm, it's my turn. Yeah, tell me about that. So I walked in, and Octavia's sitting there, and I was like, uh, the first thing she said to me was, "Oh, you look like a explain, young Tom Cruise." Explain who Octavia is. Oct- Octavia Spencer. She's. Uh, have you ever seen The Help? No. So she she's in Hidden. Fa- she's won, I think, two or three Oscars. I could be wrong. So she's a big time actress. Huge, huge, huge actress. A list, crazy. She's yeah, she's insane. You have to do the scene with her. Mm-hmm. I had to read it with her. Ooh, that's so, the other principal actor. <laughs> yep, oh, Lord. and it was it was, it, yeah, it was probably one of the most nervous I've uh, I've ever been in an oh, audition. My goodness. And I walk in, and immediately she goes, "Uh, you look like a young Tom Cruise," and I was like, "That's a compliment." Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, I'm I'm gay too. Yeah, no, no, Tom, no. <laughs> Tom's been in it. Tom's <laughs> yeah. been in it. Yeah, since since risky business. Yeah, yeah. So she gave me that compliment, and I immediately felt comfortable. Ooh. So then we started reading. And um, she actually fucked up her line. She did. She fucked up her line w- w- with the gun on me. And then I remember standing there, and I held it, held it, held it for like seven, eight seconds. And then I added in something, and then all To of them, cover that up? To cover it up. And I fixed her line. And then she realized that she messed up her line, and then went into her next line. And I think everyone kind of noticed that I handled it well and, and just oh, went with it. Oh, you didn't freeze. Yeah, and I just went with oh. it. And I think that was another big thing that they liked. Oh. That you improvised on so, the spot. So then the other kid left, and then I went. They said, "Okay, don't leave yet. Go in the waiting room downstairs." That's a good sign. Yeah. So I went in the That's waiting room good. downstairs, and then they gave me another scene. What's from going this... in your head? I'm like, I fucking got this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm rich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you're, because because that must be like an indescribable feeling. Oh yeah. And I was on what's a, going you're talking about you're thinking the red carpet are you thinking I wasn't thinking that I was just thinking I finally get to just fucking work on something for a month a long legit movie yes, they're yes. gonna be trailers I mean I had this. done like TV show stuff before but like one day on a show I mean, and you get a little fucking taste yeah. and you want the whole thing so okay so they told you wait down and don't leave mm-hmm. Gianni don't leave yeah we want to see you again correct so what was that window? Was it 10 minutes they got you again? Then, So then the other two leads who were kids, they went in and they chemistry For different together. roles. For, For different, different roles. roles. They chemistry Your read. co-star. Your mm-hmm. future co yep. stars. And then yeah. they came back. Uh, they sent them home. And then I went back up, read another scene, and they said, thank you so much. And then I went home. And then like two hours later, my manager called me. And he's like, you got it. And I, I jumped up and, oh, my God, I was so fucking happy. I was like, it, it was just... It was out of Kaboom. a movie. It literally was out of a movie. Just how everything happened. It was Did just, you cry? I, mean, I cried. Yeah. You cried. 100%. Because, I mean, I can't even imagine 100%. Like, yeah. that type of happiness. Yeah. Of, it was insane. Yeah. Did you call your folks right away? I call, Yeah, I called my parents. But you, talk, you tell your dad, like, I got it. Yeah. Pops, I got it. Yeah. I mean, they didn't know 
they didn't know how big it was going to be. They don't really, like, they go, dude, oh, you're in a movie, great. I remember the trailer, yeah. dude. It was the everywhere. basement, it was the partying. Mm-hmm. Who's the lead actress, uh, the black woman that plays, who, who? That's Octavia Spencer. That's Octavia. Yeah. She's a, oh, gee, dude, yeah. she's been in a lot of other, th- yep. dude, she's a That's why chemistry read right with, and I was like, oh, oh fuck, yeah. Because I remember seeing the trailers and being, dude, this looks like yeah. a crazy-ass mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. So I, I, the, I never had that feeling again until I think it was maybe a year and a couple months after that for the red carpet. And I was literally sitting in my car like a year before this. I was working at a fucking catering place and I was at, working at a gay bar and I had nothing. And then a year later, I'm sitting in a black SUV. My manager, my publicist, like all these people, my agent, all these people, my team were sitting in this car. And I literally had to like put my head to the side, and I started like crying, like in the oh, back of the Oh, I mean that's that's a good indication it that was wow, yeah. And then, what and then was I that? got on the carpet, and everyone's taking pictures of me, and I was like, oh my, don't fucking cry, this don't fucking crazy. cry. It was it was so it's such an intense emotional feeling that I don't think I'll ever get again. But I literally was this close to crying, like. Like, I was just in this shock of like everyone taking pictures and yeah. And then I got down a little towards the line, and then they're interviewing you. Yeah. And that's I'm good talking. I'm yeah, not good, like yeah, when you're yeah. taking pictures, you're just like, right, it's right, like, it's right, weird. Right. But when you're talking with someone, it's like okay, you can relax. Yeah. You know what what I mean? was the your first day of filming like? That must have been. What was my first day? I don't. I don't. I, I mean, re- what was the trailer? You got your own trailer. Oh yeah. What was that like? It was and, incredible. I was so happy. Like what time? Was it early in the morning? Like yeah. I. I uh, so basically. We went in, we did like costume fittings and, and stuff, but we were all saying, so the director, Tay Taylor, he has like three fucking mansions in Mississippi where we filmed. Oh, so I was filmed in Mississippi. Yeah, so they flew oh. me first class to Mississippi. Oh, wow. It was incredible. First they, class. Yep. A, 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 a car picks you up, takes you all the way down there. Mm. So we stayed at a hotel for the first two weeks. Mm-hmm. And then for the last three weeks, we stayed in Tate's house with, with you know, Juliette Lewis, also an Oscar winner. Wait, Juliette Lewis, the actress from yeah, she was American in Born Killer? Yeah, she was she was in Ma. Um, she's been around for a mm-hmm. long time. Missy Pyle. She's wow. like a very comedic. Uh, she was in Dodgeball, like all That's these movies. Crazy. Allison Janney, who's in that. Were they cool? So cool. Everyone was so fucking cool. Luke Evans. You would think everyone. As, as a fan or as a person who just watches this content, you, yeah. you, you, you always well, wonder if they're, what they're like in real life. Yeah, everyone so was just really cool. I feel like, well, when you're the lead of the movie that you're, you know, you're all, like the kids were all the leads of the movie. Yeah. So when you're with them, it's like, it's a mutual respect. It's Did not you get like, along with the other leads? Yeah, yeah. Like, we, a me- automatically. I mean, so the way the, sh- the movie was cast, mm-hmm. there's conflict anyways. There's the nerdy girl. There's the, the guy who's mm-hmm. kind of a jock. So there's already conflict. So yeah, like, we did... Uh, on set, obviously, you yeah. know, sometimes it's not always seamless. Can, can you summarize? Just tell us a base what the movie is about. Like, what I got out of the trailer yeah. is there's a bunch of kids, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. There's a woman that could get them liquor or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and they, there's a, maybe like a after hours party spot Correct. at this one kid's basement yeah. or something. Am I right? No, yeah, you're right. So okay. basically, it's just a bunch of kids who are trying to find a place to party. Yeah. And, uh, the older woman sees an opportunity. She was bullied in high school, so she wants to be accepted. So all the kids go. Is she an ex teacher? Or no, she just used to go to this high school, and tr- some traumatic things happened to her. Right. So she and one um, of the kids knows her. Yeah. So so uh, I don't want to give too much away, okay, but okay, yeah. she knows uh, one of the kids' dads from high school. Right. So, and so it's like a revenge, but then people start to like her. It's it's this cool like it's so weird. I've so never she, seen anything like it. To be I honest. know, I know. That's yeah. why I'm like I was tripping off the trail. Yeah, like, I think it's ahead this? of its time. Um, no doubt. Yeah. Um, so she's the one that got the beer and yep. the alcohol. Yeah. And then you ever play Hey Mister growing up? No, no, no. Where, where, where you where you stand outside a liquor store and you're like, um, Oh hey, yeah, right, hey, right. Mister, I've done that. Yeah, we've yeah. all done that. Oh, yeah, of course. In, yeah, yeah. College. So that's how it starts. Yeah. For the for you for a person who doesn't know who doesn't have fake ID, you'd yeah. have to do yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when did uh? So it turns. There's a twist in it, right? Yeah. Let's not ruin it. Mm-hmm. But there's something where it's almost a it's a horror movie, like yeah. a psychological. Yeah. The first thriller. the first twenty five minutes, it's like a rom com. It's, yeah. like, it's like American Pie. And then the, it's the fun. and then the second half is like um uh strangers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's almost two movies in one, which again, it's ahead of it's ahead of its time. No, is it out where could people watch us now? It's on HBO now. So HBO oh, and Go. you can rent it on Redbox, like all this stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, you get residuals from that from yeah. The- yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. It's not great though. It, it's Blumhouse, so they they do like small budget. Oh, that's movies. an indie. Yeah. So they do small budget movies, but then that's like a twenty four, like yeah, a smaller yeah, yeah. studio. Then, yeah. But Universal's Universal Pictures, right, 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 bought it. They have a first look deal with Blumhouse, but um, yeah, they pay you small, and then you get back end at the end. What was it like watching yourself on the big screen for the premiere? So I do you remember s- that night? Oh, I remember every second of that night. But did I, you you bring your friends, your your, your homies? He, he, my friend didn't come. We 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 weren't this close. Back then, a year ago. Oh, okay. Um, so I brought one of my friends from high school that lived that used to live uh, in LA with oh, me. My, my brothers went, my yeah. family. Um, oh, yeah, it was incredible. But I, I had seen the movie a couple weeks before the premiere, mm-hmm. so they showed it to us just so you know they, they usually show the leads of the mm-hmm. movie before, so you're not surprised yeah. or something. Um, yeah, and it was like it, you just can't believe you're there. Yeah. You're just when I, I first saw a little bit of it when we were doing ADR. Oh yeah, and I was like. Oh, when the fuck is this coming this out? This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I also want to talk about your how your dating life because you're uh-huh. already a good looking guy to uh-huh. start before all of this <laughs> Thank you so as a much. hockey player. Yeah, but I'm sure. Yeah, that the women, it was on a whole different level. Maybe after a little a, bit after mom, a little bit, a little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna fucking lie. To <laughs> after you. mom, it got better. Okay, okay? it got for, better. For right? my first two years in L. A., I was right. sleeping on a popped air mattress. Yeah, so I didn't want to invite any girls over to my apartment. It's not like that now, is it? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not like that at so all. So I want to hear. Cause I'm a perverted dude. I just like I like I like hearing about other yeah, stories. Yeah, you're related to Bobby uh, Lee. Yeah, you're so yeah, like I'm a Lee. Dude. So I'm already sick in the mind yeah. as far as. So tell me about some of these women. Honestly, most of the people that DM me are fucking insane. Okay, they're so they're DMing you. Oh, oh yeah, at least ten to twenty a day. Can, just, does it go? Did it? Does it? Is it somewhere like kind of like this where I just saw Ma? No, it's you were great in Ma. Some of that, a lot of it is. I have a I have a private Instagram where I post a lot of them, Mm -hmm. and um, some literally I posted one this morning, and it was some girl, and she said, her bio said lover of God, and she messaged me and said, you would look so fucking hot between my legs, and I'm just like, yeah, kaboom, yeah, (laughs) but it's yeah, it's just crazy. It's just that's all it is. All day long. A lot of gay men though, because I get naked in the movie. So a lot of gay men, d- a lot of gay foreign d- men. They DM you? Oh, all day long. So they said their penises? Yeah, it never ends. Their I'm penises? like, I, I started in a gay bar, I'm fucking yeah. ending. With, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh, their, I'm their sorry, pe- Oh, no, no, I got it, but that was fast reflex. Yeah, right? that was nice. Um, Their penises? Uh, I, I've i gotten a couple penises. Oh. But they're um mostly uncircumcised from... Um, Woo! I don't, I, I don't, I don't open um, Ooh, people's no. messages that that don't, that I don't know who they are. Yeah. But sometimes if I'm like with my friends, I'm like, oh, this right, guy. Let's get back with the women. Yeah. Let's forget about <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't yeah, want to yeah. talk about uncircumcised I penises. I um, so big clitoris. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the boobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk yeah. about the boobs. Yeah. Um. So you said some of them are crazy too. A, a lot of. Do you them, got yeah. some crazy dating? Stories where Honestly, you go, you meet this person, and you're like, "Uh oh, what did I get myself into?" Yeah, a lot of times when I when I go over and if I w- were to sleep with them, um, I don't know, I kind of lose interest a little bit. I, I feel like a lot of people do. Like that's a universal uh, thing. You sleep with someone, you're yeah, like, yeah. the chase is over. You know what I mean? So let's let's. Can you tell me one or two story? Like you don't have to say the girl's name. Yeah, yeah. I'm, try, I'm just trying to yeah. think of like, yeah. W- w- the build up is the best. So you're texting. Him, you're okay, like, you're texting. They them. DM you. Do they send nudies as oh, well? Yeah. That's, so that's, when does that start? Like the second or third? Almost method? immediately. Yeah. So they, what is it? First their boobs or? Um, first. Maybe first, a picture of the, the maybe, undies? Yeah, may, may, maybe like a little bra action. A I'm bra like, action? Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. take it off a little bit, you And know? then do you send a picture of you? No, I don't know. Okay, no so they're picks. sending the no pictures. No dick pics, unless we're on Snapchat. Okay, okay, will, okay, yeah, okay. Then anything goes. So yeah. they're <laughs> sending pictures of maybe lingerie. <laughs> yeah, lingerie, yeah. Okay, and, and then, then. And then they move it over a little bit and you're like, now we're talking. To. A oh, real boob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You see some nipple. And you, you see a nipple. You get excited. And then I get in my car and I'm like, I'm going Arizona. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is, you go across. Yeah. You can you no, drive. No, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay. I, do, I will drive. You will drive. I do. I will. You not. go to Phoenix. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay, so let's play this out. Okay, uh-huh. so you're seeing, you're okay, like. so you DM me. Okay, hi, blah, blah. Here's my. Yeah, oh, yeah. nice boobs. Yeah. I think you're good looking. Mm-hmm. I saw mom. A bit. Oh, you were great. Did you it. like it? You were great. Yeah, it oh didn't do that God. well in the box that office. That one scene uh, yeah. where you get in your undies. Yeah. And my nipples got hard. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I'm, do you want to meet up? Yeah. Um, Where do you live? 
Phoenix. Phoenix, I'm in the car. I'm on my way. Your nipples look great. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. So that actually happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're, dri- you're driving to Phoenix. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, you're driving to Phoenix. 110 down and the freeway. the trucker gas station. Yeah, yeah. Fill up. Yeah. You're there. Fill up there. What's and then fill the up initial in meat like? Are they, are you, you're there, you, you put in I'm, a piece I'm, of gum. I'm really easy going. You put in a piece of gum. Okay. And I'm, I'm easy to talk to person. Okay, you breathe in your mm-hmm. car. Mm-hmm. You're there. The house is there. I let out all my farts before yeah, I go in. Yeah, yeah. farts. <laughs> yeah. Your breath's okay. Yeah. I'm about to do this. Yeah. Text, I'm here. Mm-hmm. Did they, do they meet you halfway? Uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm at the door. Cause get me at the door. you have to be suspect. What if this is a setup? True. Because that get, has happened to me. Get, uh, oh, I want to hear that. Have you told this story before? No, but I will after. Okay. I will. Okay. This is on Backpages.com. You went on Backpage? Yeah. Theo used to do that, too. Yeah. 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 But It's, yeah. A, it's a cold world. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a cold, cold it's fucking a world. It's world. Yeah. Yeah. Theo yeah used, oh, yeah. Theo used to go it on Backpage. To twice. Theo used to go on Backpage and haggle with, 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 with the women. Yeah. And then know. he just, like, while he haggled for, like, 45 minutes, he'd be like, I'm done now. I could I could have been stabbed. I could have got shot. A lot of bad things could have happened. Yeah. Let's finish yours. I'll get back to mine. <laughs> so, yeah. Mine's not that Kids, exciting. If you're out there, just stay at home. Go to go to Pornhub.com yeah. or X Videos. Beat off. And my naked scene is don't, on Pornhub. Don't do so it. You can. You can don't catch do it. Me there. Don't do it. I'm telling you through experience. Continue. Yeah. Phoenix. So girl. you just go in and then. Um, you know, you're hooking up, whatever. They put on a movie. You're just right away? Out. Right away. Right away you put on a movie. You know, you're talking for a little bit, and then you get into it. You know, you start hooking so up. So it's the whole Netflix and chill. Yeah, Netflix and chill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you just put it right on, and yeah. then immediately the credits start. Yeah, because you're I'm inside in it. already. You're, I'm in- in- yeah. you're inside. Yeah, 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 I'm in there. Okay. Yeah. When does... When does it go wrong when you realize after you bust a nut, yeah. you're in it, you're in this person's apartment or yeah. house, and you're thinking, now you're having thoughts of, okay, who, who, what did I get myself into? Well, not even that. It's like, it, then you start talking, and you're like, I really don't have anything, anything in, in common, common with this with person. Her. So it's, so in me, I'm like, I will do anything to get out of here right now. <laughs> I will do anything to leave this place. But like if 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 it was somebody that I'd maybe done my due diligence with and I talked to before, yeah. then maybe I'd be like, "Oh, cool, let's have a fucking cool conversation." But then, you know, she's like, "How do I get famous?" and I'm like, "How do I kill myself oh, right now?" Oh no. Yeah. They're like trying to get into yeah. your world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Like if you want to yeah, be an actor, yeah. like I'll tell you then anything you want to know. Do the things you did. Yeah. How about you do acting school? Yeah. You do yeah. you grind and but do it. It just it just happens a lot and then you you just you lose interest So how well so when are you out of there when are you like oh god you i know am, what? i try and be so nice so i will stay there for like two hours and i will literally just talk to them until they don't feel like because i they might want to cuddle more yeah and i never want to have a round to, two i never want a girl to feel like i just i just went there to fuck and then i left i don't know why what it is in me that like i just don't ever want to make her feel like shit yeah. so i will literally sit there and hold my head i'm like just breathe, man. Just get through this. Just get through this. And then I'll be there for like two hours. And then I'll be like, oh. And when it's like an appropriate amount of time, I'll be like, all right, I got to go. Yeah. Yeah. But you have an excuse. You could be like, you know, I got to. Yeah. I want to. Got to get back in the road. Yeah, I got to yeah. get back in the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five, six hours. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. It's nuts. Are they mostly like that? Or are there certain instances where you're like, you know what? I actually like this girl. Yeah. Th- that's happened a couple times. A couple yeah. times in, in New York City. Because um, mm-hmm. I had my own oh, like my own sick apartment in New York when I was shooting the show. That's right. That's so I right. would like get off set. And then I just like, this, have you ever been on Raya? No. It's like it's like Tinder for like people in the entertainment industry. It's called Raya? Mm-hmm. And I would crush Raya. You would crush yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So, so you'd, you'd make your own set. profile? Yeah. I'd be in set during the day. And I'd be like, hey, I'm just filming. Boom, I'll boom. get off in a little. This love my location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, most of the girls on that are also actresses and they're so well-known people. So it works out. It makes so, sense. Yeah, so it's kind of like a whole oh community. God. So yeah. that works out. And that was so, great. Now, did like, I'm sure like, you know, you 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 know, people say she's a seven, she's an eight. Yeah. It, I'm sure you're always getting it like sevens and eights. But when did it start going to like? Tens. I was. Uh, w- was it after Ma? You realized? Wait. Yeah, it was after Ma. It helped a little. It helped a little, didn't but, it? Yeah. But then once, um, so the show Power that I was on, once those episodes came out, mm-hmm. um, and I was in New York shooting a show, and I got verified on Instagram, and they see the blue check mark. The verification helped. 
Oh, believe? Yeah, dude. The verification app. It was incredible. Oh, okay, it was okay. like night and day. So, you know, try to get verified yeah. if you're out yeah, there. Yeah, I was like, you don't fucking yes. want, you didn't want me before to yeah, have yeah, my yeah. blue check mark. It's not easy, though, yeah. to get it verified. No, right? it's, it's literally took me like two years. My publicist, like, I think in, I think it was shadow ban on Instagram. Yeah. And they would not, they would not verify me for how long. So for ver- TikTok, it took so me th- 15 seconds. So the verification helps. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. Okay. Do you want to hear about my horrific of backpack? Course. Okay. So the first time I was in Arizona, uh, Yo, I, we I have ha- a thing with Arizona. <laughs> I lived in a real shady apartment. I was a really like ghetto apartment. With Bob or you? No, were- no, it was me and my uh, Native American homie. Uh, okay. His name was Derek. Okay. He worked at the casino mm-hmm. graveyard shift. Nice. So he left to the, go to work a shift, yeah. and I'm like, tonight's the night. I'm gonna get laid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, back then, it was uh, it, it, they had like their own like local newspaper where there you could the shady stuff in the back of yeah. the, these you know yeah, i yeah. called the number yeah. and um first of all the person that showed up didn't look like at all the person on the ad uh, that happens all the time okay that's yeah. that's gonna happen every yeah, time yeah, yeah and another thing is they knocked on the the back door sliding glass window oh yeah that's that's a first thing that's like this is and she looked like she was on meth yeah skinny dry mouth yeah, you you know she very yeah. talking 100 miles per hour. You you want to get going, honey? Let's let's get it going. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. And, then, and then so I we end up like my uh, bedroom was upstairs. We're, so I can't get turned on at all in that. If that situation, I will not get hard. Oh, you, mine was hard? like an earthworm, like a dead earthworm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and she made me get naked. <sighs> That's when I should have known it was shady. Yeah. So she goes, okay. What I want you to do? You got the money? You got the money? So I gave her the money. She how gets, much was it? Oh, 150 to That's steep for a methed out girl. That's steep. I, I was really desperate. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, you know, this yeah, is my shot. You're a good looking this is guy, my, though. Yeah, you know, but it was my shot. Yeah. I, I was working at PF Chang's. Come on. My, okay, my yeah, self-esteem yeah. was yeah, low. Yeah, my yeah. self-esteem yeah. was real low. Great food, though. So Great she goes, food. You, so honey, you, you got lotion? You, you, you got lotion. She kept saying, you got lotion. You got lotion? Yeah. Honey, you got lotion. What I need you to do is you, you got to get naked. So I'm like, she has her money, so I'm getting naked, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm naked. She goes, you got the lotion? <laughs> I'm like, put the lotion goes, in no, the no. bathroom. She's like, I want to get you warmed up, baby. You know, you got lotion. So, so the way this, so my apartment was there's the stairs, his room, my room, bathroom in the between our rooms. Uh-huh. So, she's in my room. And then I, it's like r- literally the bathroom's right next to my room, in between my room and, and Derek's room. Yeah. So I go in and I go in the cabinet. And I get the lotion, the cocoa butter, whatever I had, and literally all I heard was. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard like booty, like like her booking it and the door slamming, and then a car going. <laughs> it's like so, I'm a movie. Yeah. Yeah. So so. I'm literally. Are you relieved? No. Or are you? Are you no, low well, at this point? I'm naked, just standing in between my room and Derek's room, like just a cold dick, and just like looking down the stairs, like. <laughs> That's just like oh. That's got, the saddest got, thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's like a kid waking up on Christmas and he has no presents. That's sad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll take the other one and we'll wrap it up. There's more? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> so, Gianni, you would think I would learn from this. Yeah. You would think I would learn, right? Yeah. Please don't tell me it's the same girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is in L.A. now. Okay. No one knew about that. I was so embarrassed. Yeah. I didn't even tell Derek. I was so yeah, embarrassed. Yeah. Who wants to tell someone that? And you lost story? $150. And I, but I was yeah. down like yeah. almost 200 bucks. I'm not here. I lived in this other apartment in this same complex, the smaller studio. You you walk by it just mm-hmm. before, when you walk into yeah. that smaller shoebox uh, studio. And so same thing. This, now it's back pages. Yeah. I'm like, it's nighttime. I'm like, you know what? I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to back pages. Yeah. Um. So the person who I thought I was going to get was a pretty brunette. Yeah, yeah, that's not ever the case. But what showed up was a fatter, like, Hispanic woman. <laughs> showed so up. She, it was just it, a totally different picture? It was, it, was, it was completely like... I like thick who, women. Who, I like thick women, though. No, but she was just... 
You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, that's fine. No, I love Latino women. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I. Well, I like Latino women, I mean, but I like, I like dick no, women. No, no, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. I do too, but that's not the one that I sent yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Johnny, that's not the one I said. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel it's okay, like, yeah, okay. you order a car. So, and then yeah, a yeah, yeah. So back then, do you remember those blueberry phones? The blueberry. The blackberry. Blackberry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. blueberry. Blackberry. Yeah. Black. She had a, one of those blackberries. She could not get off her damn blackberry. She, what do you think she was doing? Uh, she was. Uh, I'll, t- I'll get to that. I'm going to get to that. She was. She was playing she, brick she said, And then she was <laughs> saying, and then I had PTSD because she was saying similar stuff that this Arizona meth chick was saying. Um, you got the money. You have the money. So, uh, but you were. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get to that. So, I uh, back then I, I didn't even have like a bed frame. I had like a little, a smaller like twin size bed like on the ground. Okay. So we're both sitting on side by side on my like tw- little twin size yeah. mattress. Yeah. And she's sitting uh, like 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 this far away, like mm-hmm. where that sign is. And you know, and she goes, "You have the money." And so I went like this. And I have I put the money in between us, mm-hmm. like 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 right here. Yeah, she's right there. She didn't grab it yet, right? Because she kept, she was on her damn phone. Yeah. She, and then I go, she goes, okay. And she said this. She's like, okay, what I need you to do? Let's go I get need, the lotion. I need you to get naked. <laughs> I need you to get naked. And I'm like, what? Because and I tried to I, I try to break the ice. I, yeah. I tried, like, yeah. She and she went no, and like she kept like it was on her BlackBerry, and then. She said things similar to that lady. You know, the lady in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when the, re- the red flag yeah. went up. And I go, you know what? No, I, I don't want uh, you know, to do this anymore. And then she then she, it started getting really like, she was like, what? Oh, hell, you know, and like she started getting more aggressive. Yeah. I, no, no, you pay me something. You know, she, kept, she was like, no, 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 no. I came over here. You got to pay me something. And then I go, no, no, I don't want to do the deal anymore. And then she goes, oh, no, that's bullshit. And then she, this is how these things work. It's a, it's a pyramid scheme. Uh-huh. There's, a, there's a person on the other end, and there's the bodyguard yeah. arm person or whatever. The pimp. The pimp. Mm-hmm. And so then I had to talk to her, this woman pimp. And then she was like trying to be nice. She goes, what's the problem, baby? You know, my girl drove. Come on, I, wh- what's the what's a big deal? Yeah. You know, you paid for the service. I go. I don't want to do it anymore. I changed my mind. Yeah. And then you know, like, and then she, and she goes, "Oh hell no!" And then like she, it took. So, I kept telling her to leave. Yeah. So. We were, were you nervous at this point? I, I, I started getting like, bad, you know, just bad mumbo jumbo, yeah. just bad feelings, bit bad vibes, bad yeah. vibes. So. She finally, reluctantly, after fucking t- 15 minutes, yeah. finally leaves. So, you know when you entered? Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know that little doorway, that, yeah. like, arc mm-hmm. thing? It was literally like a synchronized thing. She was walking out, and this cholo, like, 18th Street gangster guy <laughs> walks in with his arm, like, like this, Give it up, homie. What's up, Essa? You know what? Give it up. You got to yeah. give it up, fool. You know, like, yeah. and he was big. He was like his size. <laughs> oh, so I'm fuck. like, yeah. so this was bad. So you were in the apartment? Or no, you no, outside? no. This was out, outside. You know, there's a bamboo fence that yeah, you see but there. You were but, in- but back then, there was no fence. There was more of a grass okay, area. Yeah. It was more open. So I'm out there, and I'm like, try, I don't know. I'm scared. This yeah. guy looks like a gang member. Yeah. You know, he's like, what's Fool, what's up, fool? Yeah. You're going to pay us it, you know? Yeah. And then I go, I go, nothing happened. I was explaining. Yeah. Then my neighbors could hear now. Oh, I'm like, I, nothing happened, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I, to make a long story short, because we're going way over now, I end up paying them $40. <laughs> oh, that's a good, I gave, that's a good I gave him $40. Yeah. I had to give him yeah. something. I was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like I have, so I have, shocked. I have, I have, uh, I'm so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I like your friend. I love your friend. <laughs> the whole time. For sure. For sure. For sure. No one for knows sure. who he is, <laughs> but you, you've been on back page a couple of times too, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, like, like, like that, like that? No shame, dude. Okay. No shame. <laughs> and so the moral of the story, kids, if you're single and you're horny, Jerk off. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's basically jerk off. There's is, things is the thing now where it's so close, nothing could replace a real woman. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. But there's things that can get close. Yeah. Pocket vaginas. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's this VR thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it'll boggle your mind. There's a lot of things you, you can you're do. There. there are things you could do. They have a whole body Tenga now. eggs. They yeah, a whole, a whole body body, Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a whole. If you, you want to do that, closet. if you want to do that, you <laughs> could do that. Yeah. You could have it look like uh, Natalie Portman. Nobody's going to show and up and make you pay $40. Yeah. Yeah. And it's lifelike skin. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're over an hour. Dude, it was an honor having you. Thank you so much. Right I now, it. I wanna let's. I wanna plug if you have a website, mm-hmm. your projects, your Instagram, your Facebook, cool. anything you wanna promote. Great. Now's the time. Um, so my Instagram is at Gianni V Paolo, the same as my TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a show coming out this summer called uh, Power Book Two Ghost on Stars, mm-hmm. and then check out my YouTube show that I just started. It's called Let's Laugh with Gianni Paolo. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, it's Gianni Paolo. It's just my name. Okay, yeah. spelled out for the G I A N N I P A O L O. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, it. your Instagram same. Mm-hmm. Uh, website. Uh, yeah, just same thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So now, um, I have a few announcements. Uh, we have a Patreon attached to the show. If you want to become a patron and help keep this uh, platform going, go to Patreon.com/slash Stevie Weeby. Our new Patreon. Patrons for this week are K O L Cole, Claire Taylor, Jeff, Stacy, Patriarcha, Peter, Petey one zero zero one, and Justin Humphreys. Uh, I have a website. Go to StevieWeebyShow dot com if you want to get uh, like a shirt or a sweatshirt. I have a new EP out on my Bandcamp. Oh, to my pops, it's at StevieWeebyBandcamp dot com. New mu- music videos out called Goodbye Balloon. It's at my on my YouTube channel, YouTube dot com slash StevieWeeby. Um, what else? I do have a P.O. Box uh, series I'm doing. If you want to send in packages or boxes, send your packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. It was an honor having you, brother. You got to come you. back. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I want to hear those stories. After <laughs> uh, now it's time for Low Ray's World. <laughs> World show. All I gotta say is kids' minds must grow. I got abducted by some aliens dropped in snow. Whoa. Stuck into a world that I do not know. So join me in adventures now. And I promise not to have a cow. My name is Little Ray, hey, hey, my name is Little Ray, hey, 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 so welcome to my world, to all the boys and girls. Welcome to Little Ray's world. What the hell do we got here, beep? <laughs> Smells like a goddamn cake. That looks delicious. Beep, beep. What are you saying, beep? It smells poisonous. Hey, explain yourself, ma'am. What are you doing here and why are you a goddamn cake? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So you're saying that your parents despised you. So one day on your birthday, for your birthday cake, they poisoned the yolk of the egg and you died because of a poisoned birthday cake. Is that correct? So, I guess that changes my point of view. I don't want to eat you. I feel bad for you, ma'am. I don't know if this will make you feel any better, but uh, me and Beep uh, wrote a song about you, Kate. That is your name, right? Yeah. Well, Kate the Cake, we wrote a song about you. We won't eat you, and neither will Beep. And it goes like this, Kate. The 
This one's about Kate the Cake Man, C-A-K-E. I wish that I could take a piece of that sweet cake. Been deprived of a lot of things on this planet place. Feel disgraced, then I wait for something I can bake. I got a belly ache, craving for a piece of that sweet cake. What happened to you, Kate? On your birthday, you were woke. Put poison in the yolk in your cake, and then you croaked. Started coughing up some blood in the mud, then you choked. Cause your folks were straight demonic, sipping tonic, sniffing coke. That death no red, that Kate had had a stroke. Man, that's all she wrote, won't put you on my plate. This one is for Kate, that turned into a cake. Me and people eat you, you can find your own escape away from here. Join us again in a few weeks for another episode of Little Ray's World, man. And make sure you go to StevieWeebyShow.com and pick yourself up a shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever. Let's get her done, man.